Hello folks and welcome back to our playthrough of Star Wars Fallen Republic with the Chiss Ascendancy. So we've picked up a, uh, another Admiral. We have Rayren Malice here. Um, I guess the core name for this would probably be like Irenma? Something like that, but I'm just going to go with Malice. Easiest way to do it. Because, uh, yeah, with Pickles, um, would that be... Isin Thalarichli, I think would be the core name for Pickles. Ugh. <laughs> so yeah, we're just going to go with Admiral Lies and Admiral Malice for now. Best way to do it, trying to do the proper core names, is just going to be a mess. So we are continuing to expand out into the little bit of space that we can. There's not much more that we can do though. With our two fleets here, I have separated them. Now I just have to get them to be relatively equal on power. Um, you know what? Let's send these fleets back the over to Sila. Scientific research is ready for field testing. Uh, once we get them back... Oh, don't... Careful. Don't want to mess this up and have them take on these guys. That exiled just fleets will hurt. Ascendancy technology continues to advance. Alright, so we have some research here. Rise of the Empire capital ships. Oh, so tempting. I think that's what I want to do. Um, so Havix gave one recommendation to start a little bit of research on something and then go to another. I think I'll try that with these Forge Districts. Um, I don't know if it is necessarily going to help me get that as another option the next time it comes up, but hopefully. Uh, we'll do naval capacity, because that will be useful. My current alloys are just short of 200 uh, per month, so we're doing pretty well there. Just gotta start building up the fleets now. So, if we take a look at both fleets, uh, Pickles, Admiral Liza's fleet is the stronger one, because it has the Syndic. Are we... we are good to upgrade to the heavy planetary shipyard at Sila now, so let's start work on that. Course approved. Because once we have the heavy planetary shipyard, then we can try and Additional get things going a little bit better. Now operation. Uh, let's see... there's really not much else to do at the moment. Probably prepare a gas mining district here. Additional infrastructure is now operation. We've maxed out our hyperfuel. Hmm. Over here at the asteroid outposts, let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna hold off on that. We'll do a trade market to get um, some amenities. Ready for field testing. So that will take us up to three jobs. We'll have three housing available. Can I do residences on here? It doesn't look like it. So for the other thing... Um, distribution facility? I'd like to do the, the uh, processing plant, but I don't have that available here. Distribution facility lets us do a little bit of food. Um, or I can do the energy grid for a little bit of energy. I guess we'll do distribution for now. Mega Mazers 3, I think, is what we want. Oh, and our Aristocrat died. <laughs> so for the options of uh, for takeover, uh, none of our admirals. Oh, and I just remembered. So we're just gonna abstain here. Oh, just hitting abstain automatically seemed to uh, elect them. Okay, I guess that works. Um, so normally Voidcraft is what I do, but if I remember correctly, industry, uh, let's see. Yeah, materials is what it is for the capital ships. So I want a material chiss. Because that was something I was talking about earlier. 
well, a few episodes ago, is the fact that in normal Stellaris, it's Voidcraft, but in this uh, mod, it's uh, materials to get new ship types. Uh, oh, I forgot that I was building some stuff over here. So this is... Uh, I'll add that to Corvette later. Big question is going to be how do I separate all of this out to where it needs to go. Let's see, two Warlords and a Naruto. This fleet has just some early frigates. This one has a Naruto. So probably just put this with the second fleet. Um, I suppose I don't necessarily need them to be the exact same. They can have probably different ship types. Um, probably big focus should just be providing, you know, decent fleet power between the two. But the fleet is not quite there yet, so still have a little bit of time. I await your Another thing I need to do, I need to come over here and build a starbase to take uh, over that agrocyte deposit. The agrocytes, there is an edict that you can take which helps with, I want to say lasers. I don't have it available yet, but I want to say it was either lasers or mega masers or that sort of thing. Um, and it requires agrocytes. But it counts as an edict, which increases my empire sprawl, so that may not be a good thing. Probably of the options to take out fleets around here, my best option is probably the one at Lahan. I mean, that one and the one over here at Pastavri? I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, those are probably the weakest fleets to deal with. Alright, well, I am kind of wasting my hyperfuel here, not building anything. I did... Early cruisers, so early heavy cruisers. We got one early heavy cruiser in that one. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna put that together with Pickle's fleet. Early frigates we could use. Or do we have we have heavy frigates actually? We we'll do the heavy frigates. Alright, we're gonna put our second fleet with Admiral Malice over Sila together new ships. And we're maxed out on hyperfuel again. Mm. Now the ships that I'm making, this heavy frigate, did I actually do any upgrades on it? I did, okay. Power core, yes. Durasteel plating, as good as it's gonna be. Yeah, it looks like it's gotten all the, all the upgrades that I've opted in for. We have an opening here on Sioral. I think I want to go for a clinic. Because on the Cloud City here, I should be able to build... Well, I can build a whole bunch of districts, and then eventually I can add um, some of the expanded districts here, I think. At least I think I get that option. 
We'll see. So if that's what we're gonna do, let's encourage growth on Seoral. Or Seoral 7, I should say. Seoral is our city world. Oh, and I'm maxed out on credits. Or, well, I'm almost maxed out on credits. And I'm maxed out on minerals. So, I have room for alloys. We'll buy alloys. We'll sell minerals. I have envoys that are being completely useless. But it's alright. Alright, where do we go from here? Expansion, we're really not doing much in the way of colonization. So, starbase influence costs, eh, that only kind of helps. Administrative capacity, we're pretty good on that. Starbase upkeep reduction would be nice. Colony ship build costs, don't really need that. And the pop growth speed is nice. Uh, and adapting all of these reduces Empire Sprawl. So expansion I don't really need. Domination around the same level. I mean, increasing the ruler and governor level cap would be nice. The increased housing would be nice. Crime isn't much of an issue, and the resource production going up is pretty nice. I'm honestly leaning towards prosperity, though. The building and district upkeep is always very nice. Specialist pop resource output goes up. Empire trade value goes up, which should also increase our consumer goods because of the trade policy that we've taken. Uh, reduction on build costs for buildings and districts, and more housing for city districts. Actually, that, oh yeah, this housing. Oh, this is housing buildings as well as capital buildings. Okay, oh, so housing buildings as in um, residences is probably what that's referring to, not city districts. So honestly, I think I wanna do prosperity. The only other thing that I would do is maybe Supremacy, because it has some things that help my fleets. But Prosperity, I think, will be good for the long run. Uh, speaking of the long run, I kind of need to do resource silos to build up my resources. So resource silo there. Go through all of these worlds that have quite a few openings. We're just going to build these resource silos. Seoral, uh, I can probably afford to do the resource silo. At least for the time being. Penal colony. Um, it's not really necessary. I think instead I want to go for leader lifespan. Again, crime isn't really much of an issue, so it's not really something I have to worry about. Additional infrastructure is now operational. Right, let's acquire the uh, agrisite here, and we'll build a starbase. Ascendancy technology continues to advance. Mega Mazers three. All right, what do we want from here? Uh, let's start the gravity wells. We'll let that go a couple months, and then I'll switch over to the research districts. Research districts would probably be the most useful for Sila here. Although I may want to do administrative districts just to get more housing as well. Um, because I don't think I can... Well, let's do the Research Institute. Need to do that. You know what? I, I am going to do the Administrative District. And let's go ahead and build Ascendancy more housing. Technology continues to advance. Alright. Sublight thrusters, advanced micro thrusters... 
Uh, we'll do the basic miner. The minerals from miners. Also, I think I am neglecting my fleets here because... Yeah, they're all done. Alright, 8.7 versus 13.4. Well, I gotta get a Syndic. Um, oh, we got Phalanxes now. I can build battle cruisers. Alright, so the Syndic 2. Let's make your focus on power cores. Syndic, I can probably focus on shield hit points. Artillery, yeah, that works. All of those are set. Yeah, there's really not much else to change here. So we'll save this with the uh, couple changes we've made. Now the phalanx, advanced external or advanced internal? I think... Uh, let's go the external. We'll make... We'll have the Syndic be more firepower focused. And the Battlecruiser, the Phalanxes, will be more tanky. So honestly, this pretty much works. And if this is what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the Syndic from a defensive ship in infrastructure or... Architecture, not infrastructure. <laughs> From defensive over to offensive. And the phalanx, I actually want to change the combat computer. Uh, let's go for charge. Alright, that should work. So let's build the phalanx. And I don't exactly have the money to go for another Syndic, but uh, we can do it soon, hopefully. Since I'm making three Hypermatter, let's see, our gain, produced, yeah. Since I have three Hypermatter, I'm going to go and build another Hyperfuel Refinery. Place that one on Seorl. Now, initially, when dealing with, like, new Starting trades, um, automatic trades and all that, in most of my games so far, I've been buying Hyperfuel, but I think it actually does make sense to do Hypermatter and then do jobs to do Hyperfuel, because ultimately, you can get the bonuses from having governors that are decent, which provides, like, you know, this governor at level 6, 12% more resources from Pops. But also three hypermatter and a basic hyperfuel refinery. Three are, yeah, three hypermatter goes to eight hyperfuel. Oh, so tempting. Let's do the proton torpedoes. I can't pass those up. Latest in scientific research is ready for field testing. And let's do some upgrades on our fleets here. Habitability or the leader enhancements? Um, habitability is honestly the better one. Again, leader enhancement is nice. I don't think there's much of a difference between the basic leader enhancement. These and the higher the level, fleet, the as far as what it does for style. factions. Because we are looking for authoritarian. Well, according to this, it's only giving a little boost here. Hmm. 
Xenophobe Authoritarian. You know, it's interesting. We're authoritarian, but we are an oligarchy. I suppose I could change this. Um, tell you what, if, if one of our admirals ends up becoming the leader of the oligarchy, we'll change it over. Oh, and that's the other thing I had to do. I had to come and make sure that Admiral Malice here is made immortal. So, do, 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 do. Add traits leader. Yes. So he is... Make sure I have the space. Most important, 335. 561 and 58. And then we want important leader, which is 341. Alright, he is immortal as well. Probably should go through some of this and build more. Oh, uh, what else do we want here? Oh, unity. That's what I need. Because I haven't been focusing on unity at all. Uh, let's see here. Well, residences would be nice. Is the only option for unity... Oh, no. I guess it is the Hollow Theater. I could have sworn there was something else for unity that was better than the Hollow Theater. Heritage centers, that's what it is. I think it's because the little icon here isn't for the heritage center. Um, if somehow someone from the Fallen Republic team looks through this, they should probably add that over on the heritage center. Because the heritage center provides more unity than the Hollow Theater. Uh, how long will it be? We can get the Infinity Gate in 63 months. I'm just gonna go for it. Also, I realize I was supposed to do the research districts. Uh, let's do the research districts. Because research districts will help us a lot in the long run. Alright, I am kind of maxed out here now. I can build a garrison. And that will do one housing and one... One job. Um, I think I'm kind of maxed out on everything else, though. So it might be time to... Actually, wait a second. I have enough for administrative districts. Let's do that. So now that we have the administrative district, let's do one city district for housing. Um, trying to think what I want here. We'll do two farm districts and two mining districts. And if I'm adding farming districts, I should probably do a distribution facility. And our phalanx is almost ready. All right, this is gonna be the big thing to see. Who is going to be stronger? Is it still gonna be Admiral Liza's fleets because of all his boosts from the Holocrons? Or is it actually going to be this fleet since it has the phalanx? It is this fleet with the phalanx, okay. New ship systems have been installed. These upgrades will make the defense fleet all the more formidable, Aristocra. Alright, so we need a regular Corvette. 
Because the one regular Corvette we had is all the way over yonder. So regular Corvettes. And I think I had Warlord. Yeah, I do have Warlord Missile Cruisers. So two Missile Cruisers for this fleet as well. You know what, I'm going to separate those guys and then I'll break it all apart. Because there's a couple things I have to do here. Um, and I don't want to do it one at a time and just be simple. So we're doing that for this fleet. We need another Phalanx. If I buy, I can buy that much. Still a little short. Go ahead and sell minerals and sell some hyperfuel. I want to sell a whole bunch. Eh, 5,000 works. Alright, Phalanx, and that will do for now. A Phalanx and each fleet should work pretty well. Um, also, I realize that Admiral Malice's fleet is actually maxed out pretty much now. Uh, I'll be able to do the... Hmm, 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 hmm. Battlecruiser is 59. Ugh. Um, shoot. Well, I guess we're not going to do the Battlecruiser for Pickles' fleet. Because that's going to max it out. Uh, let's see. The missile cruiser is 11. That's going to max it out. In Malice's fleet, I can only really afford, like, two Corvettes. That's it. So I guess the other missile cruisers will go into Pickle's fleet. Uh, 110 plus 22, that's 132. And then minus 60, that's 28. 29, of course. <laughs> well, I could do another early Syndic. It's not ideal by any means, because it doesn't have the best stuff, but it, it'll work. Again, the important thing is just making sure that I don't lose an entire fleet. Well, actually, I think you can still lose admirals even if... Uh, if just, way. like, their main ship is destroyed. So oh, I should probably be careful about that. I await your instructions. Also, since we haven't had a whole bunch of people, you know, sign up to take Admiral spots, I might just, uh... Make it a bit... Or might just, you know, respawn the Admirals, possibly, if they do fall in battle. This is going to add to Malice here. And we're almost ready to go take on this pirate fleet. The biggest thing with the pirate fleets are obviously the invincible cruisers. They do very well at causing a whole bunch of damage. And especially in this fleet, you know, they're level 4 turbo lasers. They got level 5 shield generators. According... Hmm. The icon shows it's 5, but when you hover over it, it says 4. That is odd. I don't know. But I suppose of bugs, that one's not too horrible. Um, I'm guessing that is supposed to be level 6 armor, though. Ugh. Yeah, let's go for the Infinity Gate theory. Because in the end, the Infinity Gate stuff is going to help a lot. Missile cruisers, you are all ready to go join Pickles' fleets. And hopefully the missile cruisers will actually do pretty good. 
Uh, they have torpedoes, which have the shield penetration. So theoretically, they'll be good. Alright folks, that is going to be it here for this episode. Uh, I know it's a little slower, but we're definitely approaching a good point here where we can start to do some really good work on uh, wiping out the pirates and, you know, continuing to expand. And hopefully, sometime soon here, we'll be able to actually move into the greater galaxy and see what's going on. So thanks for watching. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. And I will see you all next time.